Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a brand new series of book review. I'm Shahida Rahman. Throughout the series, I'll be talking to authors and writers, and getting published is very challenging. And I'll be asking my guests to talk about their publishing work, their publishing journey, and their books. My first guest of the series is Alkash Zahi. Alkash is 19 years old and from Cambridge. He started writing at the age of 15 and has been published in 19 poetry books. And that's an amazing achievement. He's currently studying journalism at Kingston University. And he is inspired by the boxer Muhammad Ali. Assalamu alaikum, Alkash. Wa alaikum as okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your background, uh, where you come from? and? Uh, yeah, family? recently um, my family, they're from Pakistan, but I was born and raised in England. And yeah, I was born up north in Huddersfield and then we moved down to Cambridge when I was six and now I'm here sat next to you. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. And uh, I just said in the intro, uh, you've been published in 19 books. I mean, that, that's absolutely amazing. How, how did you start writing? You know, what, what inspired you to start I writing? I mean, I was 15 years old. I still remember the day, um, 16th of December 2011. Friday it was the last day of school. I just got back and it was about 6pm and I was watching a Muhammad Ali interview and I just thought to myself, I can't make, make it as a boxer so why not try something else? <laughs> and you know, he, he was famous for his poetry as well, he used to do a lot of writing about his fights and that just inspired me to give poetry a go but never did I have any real intentions to make a career out of it, it just started as a bit of a joke to be honest. Fantastic, fantastic. And <clears throat> uh, your books, you know, um, as we said, 19 different books. Um, what's your favourite poem, uh, your favourite one that you've actually written? Uh, my favourite one would probably be a poem I wrote about bullying. That, that's been published, I think, in five of the books out of the 19. And that was probably my favourite because it got a lot of attention by newspapers and a couple of television okay. shows as well. So it really lifted me up career-wise. Right. I mean, is that based on your own personal experiences? Oh, uh, no, it's not. It's, a lot of people think it is, but, you know, I have a lot of young cousins and, you know, I see what, go, go, what they go through. I visit schools, I do tours you know, like you've done as well, exactly. and you see, you know, what goes on, and that sort of inspired the poem. Yes, I mean, and do you get children asking you advice about... Yeah, yeah I mean, poetry? in one particular case in 2013, January 2013, uh, a child actually spoke about how his bullying was giving him suicidal thoughts. I got a private message on my Facebook page. So, oh, yeah, goodness. the poem really had, had a surprising impact. Yes, and, and I think, you know, especially with children your age, that... That yeah. would have a, a, an impact. Yeah, definitely. I mean, can I ask you what you're writing next? Are you writing more poetry? Um, at the moment, a lot of people ask me that, but at the moment, I've I'm kind of shift. I've shifted away from it for a bit, but that's just because I'm really occupied with like shows, doing school tours, and you know, university at the same time as well. So I'm very occupied. But once I get the time, I'll certainly be getting back into it. Fantastic, because we want you to carry on uh, writing poetry, and I think that's, that's good. Been an absolutely amazing achievement. I've not actually come across an author like yourself, who, who's been published so many times. So well, I um, hope that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. And I was going to ask you, have you ever thought about maybe collating your own poetry and publishing it in in one book yourself? It, no, it did happen uh, two years ago, but it was just, uh, I think it was just 100 copies which were published. So it was just a small sort of stack which uh, you know, the publisher United Press kindly made for me but yeah I'll definitely look into it you know especially in this competitive climate it's hard to get your work out there but hopefully you know in the coming years definitely inshallah. And uh, as I said before you're a study you're studying journalism um, yeah was that part of because you wanted to uh, carry on writing you know journalism is a completely different uh, yeah it is uh, a different form yeah. but I guess it all links in with the sort of media world which I'm now in because of the platform poetry has created for me so it's I just uh, generally just a backup plan in case things don't work out and you know the poetry books fail at least I have something to fall back on great great fantastic well you've got one of your books here today can you tell yeah. us a little bit uh, more about yeah, it? yeah um, this is Men of Words and it's actually a compilation of the top 10 male authors in 2013 judged by publisher United Press and thankfully they kindly put me in put me in it they gave, they dedicated a chapter to me and I think I was 16 when I got published in this so Fantastic. yeah it started from there Fantastic. have you ever come across uh, uh, an author like yourself where you can compare notes and talk about your own poetry? I haven't and I think that's probably the reason why I mean if I ha if there if I had more competition I think I'd be probably more successful. That's what competition brings, it brings success. Mm -hmm. But I don't bump into other people like me. I think if I did, I'd be inspired to compete with them and then try even harder in what I do. So it's a shame that I haven't, but I wish Fantastic. I did. Fantastic, no, that's great. And I'd really like you to read one of your poems, so could you Yeah, please? sure. Yeah. 
This what the poem I'd like to recite is a poem I actually wrote while I was revising for my GCSEs. So I was 15, I think it was May 2012. And this poem is called Effort. And shall I go ahead? Yes, please do. The hips of effort are agile. The muscles of effort are strong. The eyes of effort are open. And it is effort which works all day long. The mind of effort is clear. The aim of effort is to succeed. The stamina of effort is endless. And it is effort which in the end shall feed. The heart of effort is touching. The lips of effort are sweet. The colour of effort is rainbow. And it is effort which leads to a treat. The power of effort is eternal. The intention of effort is to progress. For effort never looks back and is effort which brings you to success. That's amazing, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Can you, can you give us a writing tip, um, something for the viewers? Writing tip, always write about something which people can relate to because then it, you know, it's good for sales. Uh, what are your hobbies, Alkash? What do you like doing? Um, Apart from writing, that is. I'd say I just love munching on Ferrero Rocher's. I'm addicted to their, them. <laughs> yeah, I take the walk to one stop every night and yeah, get some Ferrero Rocher's. Bad oh, habit. Great. I mean, I don't recommend it to kids out there, but oh, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth as well. You're a model, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know how it happened, but yeah, I mean, I've done a bit of work with a few retail companies, and so it's nice to get out there in that sense as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, you know, what, what else do you like doing apart from uh, writing? I mean, I like keeping up with sports. I support Manchester United, which might not oh, please a few Manchester. people. Yes. And yeah, yeah, I keep up with sports. Love Muhammad Ali. Love boxing. And yeah, I'm just quite an outgoing individual who likes to have a good laugh every now and again while, you know, taking his work seriously. I see. And, and you keep mentioning uh, Muhammad Ali and the boxer. What, what inspired you to, you know, um, look at him and uh, see him as a role model for you? I think it was his courage. You know, his prime years of boxing were taken away from him. Just imagine me not writing from 25 to 28 or you not doing what you do from 25 mm -hmm. to 28. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi wouldn't be the players they are today if their best three years of their lives were taken. And despite that, he three years of his career were taken and he still came back and became the heavyweight champ and, you know, lost out on a lot of money because of those three years or because of his religious beliefs. Absolutely. So, you know, that shows yes. a lot about the man. I, mean, I know uh, quite recently you wrote to one of, you tweeted to one of his uh, managers, didn't you? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. About your poetry. And, you yeah, know, I didn't get anything back, but, you, you know, didn't get anything back. when oh. you're as famous as Ali, yes. it's hard to get a response. I mean, do you uh, contact him at all with your poetry? You when I was 15, I got in touch with his centre. He has a museum in... Uh, um, in Louisville, Kentucky, which is the size of like your average John Lewis, and I got in touch with there, but I think I just I got distracted and then I sort of oh, let yeah. go. But maybe hopefully he watches this and yes, then we'll get in you touch. Get in touch with him. Again. I will. Yeah, yes. hopefully he can get in touch with me. Fantastic. And uh, do you actually have a website? Can you tell us some? Uh, I don't have a website, but you know, social networking's big these days. You know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm lucky to have a unique name, so Alkash A U K A S H. Just plug that in in all social media, and you'll find me. Yeah, what makes you different from other writers and poets your age? Well, I don't know, the stereotype of like writers in general is that they're a bit grisly, never shave, shower once <laughs> a month. So I like to think I'm a bit different from that. You know, I like to maintain myself and stay fit and healthy. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, about your further writing, do you plan to write any more poetry or uh, would you move into something different? Well, you know, in life it's really hard to plan these sort of things. You know, anything can happen. When I was 14, I didn't know a year later that would be published in books. When I got published in books, I didn't know a year later that would be on TV and radio. So things always change, circumstances change. You know, family, friends, they can all have lots of influences on, on you. But at the moment, I just want to focus on my education. You know, I want to write at the same time, continue making public, experience, uh, public appearances. But where life will take me in five, ten years' time, you know, it's hard to judge. I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow. Absolutely, absolutely. And regarding poetry, I know... Fair rushes, I'm going to eat them yes, tomorrow. Yes, okay, that, yeah. that's good. I mean, with poetry, uh, a lot of people who do write poetry, they like it to rhyme. Now, yeah. Do you write a lot of rhyming poetry, or is it... Yeah, most of my poems do rhyme. Yeah. I'd say about 90, 95% of them do rhyme. I mean, that's, that's just because isn't it, to match those words? I mean, it's, but I'm lucky that it, it, um, it doesn't naturally come to me. It's not something I have to put effort in for. Oh, okay. But I just think, you know, when it rhymes, it just gives that little extra bit of flow. But that's yes. just my personal preference. Fantastic. Different people like different forms of writing. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, you know, as I said, you know, it, it's a fantastic achievement, and we'd really like to see you write more poetry and uh, be published. Thanks a lot, you know, hopefully it all goes well for me. Thank you very much, Alkash, for being here today. And it's wonderful to hear your writing and uh, what you plan to do next. So thanks very much. I'd like to end today's programme with a famous quote from Stephen King. Uh, to write is human and to edit is divine. So we've come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.